Welcome to YouTubers Love Excel number 116. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook YouTubers Love Excel 112 to 120. And this YouTuber said, I have this block of data, and I want to be able to copy it over to the C column and a certain number of cells da um, rows down. And the number of rows they want to go down is in this cell. Well, let's do it this way. Let's record a macro using part absolute and part relative. And then we'll go look at the code and see if we can edit it and link part of that macro to this cell. All right. Before we can start in 2007, you actually have to show the developer ribbon. You'd have to go to the or the Office button here, click on it, and way down at the bottom off the screen is Excel Options. Click on that. And under Popular, you need to select Show Developer tab in the ribbon. Um, and then the Record Macro button is going to be right here. In 2003, you go to the Tools menu, Macro, and then Record. In addition, in 2007, if you have the extension .xlsx, you are not allowed to record macros. That's a macro-free workbook. So you need to use .xls or .xlsm. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can record this macro. Another important uh, locating things in the two different versions before we start is this relative reference button. This appears when you start the macro in 2003. The Stop Record macro toolbar pops up. And it has the Stop button and the Use Relative Reference button. And it doesn't have this word. It just has that little icon. If that doesn't come up when you're in 2003, you need to go to your Toolbars, List of Toolbars, and turn on the Stop, mac record ma the stop Macro Toolbar. I always have notes up at the top, so a lot of that is up there. All right, let's go ahead and turn our macro on, give it a name, and see if we can't record this. Um, I'm going to go down here in 2007. There's a, um, a button here. I actually still use the keyboard shortcut from earlier versions, which is Alt-T-M-R, Tools Macro Record. All right, let's call this uh, Copy Data Down. I'm going to put a keyboard shortcut here. So instead of just Control, I'm going to put Control Shift and then C. And then I'm going to put a description here. Copy data from uh, A14 to A19 to column C and a number of rows down from cell, oh, let's do a, from value in cell C13, because that's our ultimate goal here. All right, click OK. Now, we got need to make sure that the um, absolute macro is on. And you can, tell, you can tell that the relative is on when you see the orange box. But since the orange box is not there, you know it's absolute. So now, we click here in cell A14, actually click and drag, and it's re recording relatively. Control C. Now before we move over and down, we need to turn the relative cell reference on. So we go up to Developer or the Stop Record Macro Toolbar and click on Relative Cell References. Now we're going to go over 2 and down 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And now we're going to Control V. And I want to hit Escape to turn the Dancing Ants off. And then I'm going to turn the Absolute back on and then click right there so that our cursor ends up at the top of this data set. Now we can turn this off. There's an Off. That's where the Off button is now. Or Developer, turn it off, Stop Recording. Or in 2003, use the Stop Recording toolbar. And there it is. Now let's go ahead and see if this works. I'm going to highlight all these cells. And the way we can clear all, that means all the formatting and the content, because we got lots of formatting. I think I have uh, 
conditional formatting, bold, borders, everything. So you can get rid of all, all of it by going to Home, and then over here to Clear All. In 2007, you go Edit, Clear All, or Clear, Clear All. The keyboard shortcut that works in all versions is Alt-E-A-A. -A. That's from Edit, uh, Clear, Clear All. Let's go ahead and see if our keyboard shortcut works. Control-Shift-C. And there it works. I'm going to highlight this and Alt-E-A-A -A to clear it all. Now we need to go look at the code and see if we can link the code to this cell. The keyboard shortcut to open up the list of macros is Alt-F8. Copy data down. You can click Edit. And there it is, range that is how an absolute macro is recorded in quotes like that, dot select. Active cell dot offset means it goes down eight, because row comes first, then column, down eight from wherever the active cell was, and um, over two columns. That is not necessary. And then paste. So let's change this. And again, I've told you many times before in these videos, I do not know VBA. I am a total hacker. I know how to record macros and a bunch of little VBA tricks, but I do not have an, a great overview of how to write VBA. But I do know how to tell this part of the offset function in VBA to go look at that cell. You have to use the range, and then open parentheses, and in quotes, you have to put C13, end quote, close, parentheses. Now that won't work. That tells it to go over there. But we need to tell it to get the value. So we do dot value. And that will get the, whatever the value is from that C13 and deliver it to this offset function. I'm going to hit Control S to save it. This is a compatibility checker because I have .xls here, and it's just saying the differences between 2003 and 2007. Don't be scared of these when these comes up. Sometimes it's very important to read through them and see what differences there are. Click Continue. I'm going to go ahead and close the VBA editor. And now I'm going to type um, 15 here and click over here. And now I'm going to do Control-Shift-C. And sure enough, now it's 15 rows down. Let's see if we can do that again. Highlight that, Alt-E-A-A -A to get rid of it. And type uh, 30. And then run uh, Control-Shift-C. Sure enough, 30 rows down it is. You could easily put a, uh, another little, in fact, let's do that, number of columns over. Um, And then we'll put um, 5 here. Now I'm going to come down here and Alt-E-A-A to get rid of that, clear all. I'm going to go look at the macro and link the column section of the offset to this. So Alt-F8 and uh, edit. Oh, there it is. And you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just copy this right here, that little thing, Control-C, and then highlight that 2 and Control-V. And I think instead of C13, it was uh, ABCD, I think, comes after C, so I'll put D. I better go check that. I'm going to hit Control-S and then click Continue. I'll go ahead and I'm going to go back over. I'm going to use my Alt-Tab to go back over here. It was that D13. Yeah, it is Alt-Tab. So I got D13. All right, now I can close this. And now let's see if we can go five columns over, which would be one, two, three, four, five. So the F. Control-Shift-C. And let's see, five columns over. Sure enough, there it is. So that's how to copy it to somewhere else. And a little bit of editing and hacking at our macro. All right, we'll see you next YouTube trick.